everybody. We're out here uh, just kind of showing you our new setup here, the Westcott Designs accessory rack. We got um, a lot of different options for you, but uh, we just kind of want to show you a little bit uh, how it works here. So we start off by uh, going underneath here. We got some threaded locks. We'll uh, loosen those up, pull the spring-loaded pin out, and we can swing the arms open. We can get these swung open here. Now we have full access to the rear trunk. The, uh, the rack that goes into the receiver has a locking mechanism that goes. There's no, there's no movement, no rattling, no, no flex in there whatsoever. It's got a wedge design that we've patented. Um, has a locking pin that, that uh, locks that in as well. So if there's any issues, it still has a locking pin that holds the receiver in there. We do still have the option of uh, using a receiver to slide in here, a trailer hitch to slide in here. We can still tow. So all, all these, like the high lift mount here, all the, all the mounts are standard. It doesn't come with the, the jacks, the tires, the uh, the roto packs. The mounts are all standard. Obviously, it doesn't come with the, the jugs. Those are all interchangeable. Whatever you guys like to put on for water, fuel, anything you like to do there. The mounting is all standard on those. We have different options of what we can do with these. This one here is the worktop table. It's all stainless steel. We've got a couple pins we can pull out. This drops down. We pin it in the up or the down position, I'm sorry. So now we have a worktop, stainless worktop table here that doesn't not gonna have any rust issues or whatever. You can repair meat. This will take any size cooler because there's multiple tie-down locations. You could put a generator in there. Anything basically that'll fit in the tray, you can get it strapped in without any issues there. This side, of course, we got our tire. It's a pretty simple design, what we did. The tire, we do a strap on those just because uh, it's pretty simple. We don't have to worry about picking the tire up and putting on studs, lining all that up. Living is set the tire on the ground. Put it back up there. You can grab your strap, get it strapped down. You don't have to hold anything in place, line anything up. So it's a pretty simple little design here. So our arms here, once we swing our arms open or closed, they do have a locking design here we have. And that way it keeps it in the open position. If the wind blows, something like that, it keeps it in that position. So we don't have any issues with uh, any kind of movement once it's open or closed. Another one of our little things that we have going on with this rack, and again, another standard mount that we have. You can see this tube here. We have it for different accessories. One of the accessories just happens to be our shade. And again, we have another locking pin that goes into that to keep it secured. One of the other kind of cool things we have on this rack, and it comes with all of our racks standard again, we have a stainless little bottle opener here that works as our stop when we close it, so we don't have any, uh, any kind of corrosion issues. But it is a nice little bottle opener, so when you're out wherever you are exploring and uh, getting back to camp, you can have a cold one. All right, here guys, we got showing you our locking mechanism on our rack that slides into the receiver. So you can see we have a patented wedge design that we have here that locks it in all directions. So when it slides in, there's zero movement. So what happens is we slide this in here. We have a socket that we slide in there and locks it down. And that pulls the wedge and allows it to lock into the receiver and has zero movement again. Once that's locked in, you can put your pin through there. We have an optional locking pin that uh, will lock it in there so we don't have any problems with anybody's trying to steal it off the back of a vehicle. All of the mechanism is up in the front here. So the pin actually blocks all of that so we don't have any issues with theft. Here it is on the ground, you can see it all together. Once it slides in, again, we just tighten that, that lock nut, slide your pin in and you're, and you're good to go.
All right, here we have on this vehicle, we have a set of 37-inch uh, tires, which we don't recommend running that size of a tire on these, just because they're so heavy. Um, but, but again, this one does have the 37s on it. They're both swung open. And we just kind of want to show you that there's still room when they're swung open. There's room to uh, still open the tailgate here. All right, here we have a uh, cooler over here with our fold-down worktop. We've showed you that one on the other setup. But on the other side, we have our, our grill, our Traeger grill that plugs in. We have a uh, 110 uh, adapter. We also, in this vehicle, just plug directly into the vehicle. So we can do some tailgating out in the woods, whatever, um, grilling, cooking right here on the grill. We have these slide-in pins that drop in. These are our hammock mounts. Oh, shut up. I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> That's cool. So we just clip our hammock on here. We can have a seat. Take the rest of the day off. <laughs>